colonialism cited as root cause. The National Chief launches campaign to eradicate First Nations poverty in the context of a comprehensive national anti-poverty strategy. The peoples of this continent are forced to live. As the elected representatives of First Nations peoples, the Assembly of First Nations is calling on all Canadians to stand together with us to insist that the Government of Canada respond to the crisis of poverty in our communities. Some observers wonder whether Phil Fontaine will take another run at the leadership of Assembly of First Nations. Come in front against the All Sands forms. Environmental activists and Native groups use federal hearings on oil sands pollution to demand more be done to protect land and water in northern Alberta. Liberal MP Anita Neville pushes for action. The Conservative government is deflecting calls for a public investigation into more than 500 cases of missing or murdered Native women. Federal government neglect in building schools on reserves. Charlie Angus, the MP for Timmins, James Bay said in a May 25 report released by the Parliamentary Budget Officer, offers a shocking picture of education administration as handled by Indian and Northern Affairs Canada. Indian and Northern Affairs Canada receives a welcoming committee. First Nations members from Little Saskatchewan and Fairford First Nations staged a protest outside of the INAC office in Winnipeg. Organisers hope to raise awareness towards ending the corruption and improving the dreadful conditions that plague their communities. Canada would not even exist if it was not for the military support of Aboriginals, peoples and nations against invading U.S. armies. That's gratitude for you. The former racist South African apartheid regime was directly inspired by the Indian Act. INAC continues to administer the Indian Act against First Nations communities that suffer as black South Africans had also suffered. Does that mean that Canada, that aspires to be a multicultural society, actually still practices apartheid? Challenging threats to biodiversity. On International Biodiversity Day, Indigenous peoples' organisations, along with several NGOs in New York, held a protest against genetically engineered trees in front of the Belgian permanent mission. During the protest, a letter was delivered to Belgian Ambassador Jan K.F. Grouse. The letter condemns a field trial of genetically engineered poplar trees planted earlier this month in Belgium. The Canadian Press reports, quote, on the first day of her trip to the Arctic, Mikhail Jean gutted a freshly slaughtered seal, pulled out its raw heart and ate it, unquote. The Governor General further elaborated, quote, it's like sushi, unquote. The Governor General had been attending an Inuit community festival. Do you, First Nation people, take the legislation? Many First Nation peoples are unhappy with Canada's proposed matrimonial real property legislation, which deals with the division of matrimonial real property on reserve when relationships break down. Aboriginal leaders say Bill C-8 is flawed and does not reflect First Nations cultural values. An Assembly of First Nations Chief Phil Fontaine says he is disappointed with the decision to hoist the bill and take it off the parliamentary agenda. Are you seeking entertaining but a realistic portrayal of urban life in Winnipeg's north side? Check out Moccasin Flats on APTN, Aboriginal People Television's network. Now it's time to check in with Jaja, keeping a critical eye on what's going on from south of the border. Take it away, Jaja, from our U.S. Bureau. Hey, this is Jaja, coming to you with the International News Blitz from Brooklyn, New York. On May 27, 2009, today, the U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security, Janet Napolitano, said, I know that the 9-11 terrorists did not cross the Canadian border. Napolitano told reporters, referring to an earlier misstatement used to justify the increased security at the United States' northern frontier. It's always a game with them. First, they want to add security to increase FEMA, but in actuality, they want to open the borders for their NAFTA agreement and create uh, the North American Trade uh, Alliance with America, Canada, and Mexico. So that's the whole end game with them. Also on the health front, the Doctors Association calls for a moratorium on GMO foods. Genetically modified foods pose a serious health risk and they call for an end of all the foods. Genetically modified corn is linked with infertility, the flour is linked with autoimmune diseases and Crohn's, GM soy is linked with cancer, and the Canadian population for the past 10 years has been the first skinny pigs of uh, genetically modified foods. Out of the United States, the Supreme Court ruled that we are losing our right to an attorney while being interrogated by police. 
the Supreme Court overturned a long-standing ruling that stopped police from initiating questions unless the defendant's lawyer was present, a uh, move that'll make it much easier for prosecutors to interrogate suspects. That means you do not have a right to an attorney. You cannot declare, I have the right to, to remain silent. It's totally a new world, new world order all the way. Just in from Reuters is that North Korea says we are ready for war. Kim Jong the third warned that it would launch an attack of its vessels were intercepted as part of a U.S. led initiative to search ship for nuclear materials. Also, Brzezinski said earlier tonight on PBS that the United States needs to rely on its allies, but thinks that China will be an ally in the interception of this Napoleonic infantile. Embedded. In U.S. and other international news, former U.S. President gets scrutiny for alleged war crimes. Lawyers against the war demand that former U.S. President George W. Bush be prevented from entering Canada on May 29. This legal claim is based on provisions of the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act. The Facebook effect isn't anything sacred anymore. Dr. McCullough documents large corporations seeking to patent yours and other human DNA and the DNA of animals for commercial profit. The War on Freedoms? MSNBC's Rachel Maddow exposes how the Obama administration seeks to criminalize your thoughts. There may be a number of people who cannot be prosecuted for past crimes, in some cases because evidence may be tainted, but who nonetheless pose a threat to the security of the United States. Obama seeks to pursue the power to jail persons without trial for an indefinite period of time who may commit a crime in the future. And in other news, group seeks to rename George Orwell's book 19, from 1984 to 2009. Iraq's decaying infrastructure results in open canals of wastewater and return of cholera. This is occurring as corporate commercial profits associated with water privatization soars. Speaking of water rights, here at home, the Council of Canadians and Mining Watch Canada has released a report of a looming freshwater crisis. The Council has been active in seeking to raise public consciousness over water rights. Many Aboriginal communities continue to suffer denial from basic access to clean drinking water as a result of, the exploitative, these, as a result of exploitative environmental policies. But south of the border... It is good to know that there are U.S. politicians pursuing general social responsibility, though... At least on property taxes. De Detroit City Councilwoman pays only $68 in property taxes a year on her very large, very nice house because city records have shown it is a vacant lot for a decade. But she still wants you to know she pays her taxes in full. The Kennedys. Bobby Kennedy's son poised to enter a race for Obama's old Senate seat. Bonus. Current... Seat warmer Ronald Burris has raised a whopping $845 for his own campaign. Another one of Obama's promises of change bites the dust. The Obama administration decides to maintain don't ask, don't tell. Gays and lesbians in the U.S. continue to face expulsion. Drunks don't make the best companions on an airplane. Drunk young ladies on a plane bound from Germany to the U.K. try to open door mid-flight are surprised when people have a problem with this. Fellow passengers claimed they swigged from a bottle of vodka, they took